guys, it's BK. So today's video, we're out here at VCD Racing. As you guys see by the thumbnail, we're doing some service to the car. Being 30K, I do know we gotta do brake fluid, spark plugs, because I am running 85. If you guys are bone stock, 100K should be fine. So about a year ago or so, we, we did R1 concept from pad and rotors. So after the initial braking, it's fine, but then the second time I brake really hard, it, the steering wheel starts shaking. So, yeah, it like starts acting up. And then on the second braking, my whole steering wheel shakes and my braking power isn't there. So if it's not the pads or the rotors, then we know it's not mechanically the issue. Maybe it's something with the fluid. Maybe something's leaking somewhere. Maybe the caliper's leaking, who knows? Uh, so Lewis is gonna check it out, see what it is. Maybe it's just the R1 concept. Pads and rotors are just not good enough. My assumption is that it's the OEP pads are not strong enough for what we're doing or for what I'm doing, which is tracking and drag racing in Mexico. So I don't know, but you know, that's the whole point of buying them. I just wanted to see if they're worth it or not. That said, we're gonna be doing OEM 2020 plus two piece rotors and 2020 plus pads. Let's get to it, boys. Is there anything else that should be done around 30,000 miles? You change your trans fluid? Yeah. Around 3,000. I mean, pretty much it. Just like, right. you know, transmission fluid, brakes, and... Um, spark plugs? Yeah, and spark plugs. That's about it. I mean, of, I mean, a lot of people, they lose like, their rear brakes around this time, but I mean, you're mm -hmm. fine. You really shouldn't replace them. Yeah. yeah. I changed my rears around 11K, 12K. Oh, yeah. I remember we did yeah. it over there, right? I'm just going to try to push the pistons up. And then... I already have their caliper off, but... I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna grab a like a little little hanger, clothes hanger and just like, hold it right there. Mm -hmm. I think Honda's recommendation for the spark is like a hundred k. The number one reason I want to change them is just because I'm running E85. Yeah, obviously, but I'm saying like like their OEM recommendation because there's always those people that tell you like, oh, why change them? Honda tells you to this. So I was like, yeah, but I mean, you have to understand there's other yeah other things that, not just stock. Maybe if the car was bone stock, I wouldn't be touching nothing. But because I am running flex fuel. Uh, 30,000 I feel like is a good number for spark plugs. Uh, cars have carbon build up and everything, so the so you, spark plugs, the injectors go out. Like injectors go out like a lot of people are like 40 to 50,000 when they start going out. Mm. It's one of our other bigger like jobs that we do all the time is like injectors. We call like every week for like two, three people like oh, <laughs> want to change the injectors. But um, it gets expensive because like it's behind the block, so it obviously takes a couple hours to do. And then plus the part itself is like 400 bucks, so like that's for SI ones. They actually have like chambers where like it's like curved. Oh yeah, directional. Yeah. What well, about like in here? So you know these are the cooling ports mm -hmm. for the brakes. So like the way that they have it is like there's yeah, like they they have it. So there's airflow to it. Yeah, I'm not trying to get the actual material. I'm just trying to get the metal, just so we have a little bit of. Yeah, but even like the 2019, my OEM, oh, yeah, my original pads, they were they would give me better stopping power than these. So, I mean, hopefully it fixes it. Yeah, hopefully. The 2019 that had a lot more confidence on the track versus these, these, these are not meant for the track, guys. But like I said, it's a lesson learned for me. I just wanted to try them out to really see if they're worth it or not. A valve is the perfect fit. <laughs> see? That's what we use. Everyone should blow their mortar so you could get a valve. <laughs> yeah, I know, a valve is like literally the perfect fit for the brakes. That paint already sucks as it is for these cars, so. Yeah. The clear coat's peeling pretty bad, or? Not just in the front right here. Yeah, yeah. Does Honda warranty that? Some dealers, some dealerships offer warranty on them, some don't. I'm gonna go and try and see if they will. But most of the time they say no. Oh, they just straight, straight up say no? Yeah, they just straight up say no. They say that's a... Wear and tear part, right? Yeah, it's a wear and tear. In 2017, 2018, they were offering warranty on them. But in theory, being less than three year old car and less than 36K miles, they should cover it. I'm pretty sure those dudes that have like that extended warranty shit, they probably give us out. Yeah, maybe maybe those are the guys that get them. Because some guys say they do, and but a majority of guys tell me they don't get it. They don't?
Probably doesn't help, huh? But it's probably not the cause of it. Rotors and pads are done. Oil change is done. Time to do spark plugs. How many miles do you have? 35. 30,500. Yeah. yeah, in the first year, I probably put 18, 20,000 miles. Were you 19? Yeah, I got it in 2020. So, Lewis is so fast, I already skipped it, and it's been two minutes. So, what happened? <laughs> Just took your spark plug out. <laughs> no, well, you did. So, you took, it's four screws, right? So, first thing's off the bat, you take out the valve cover. Then you take off all the four. Yeah, there's the four screws. This one didn't want to come off, so I just left it. I didn't want to fuck with it. Yeah. So okay. you, you prefer are disconnecting it first and then removing them? Yeah. And you don't have to disconnect the battery when you do this? For the most part, no. Because usually it won't give you the code until you turn the car on. Like, let's say you have a misfire, mm -hmm. like an injector isn't plugged in. Yeah. I mean, you could take, take the battery off. Does they all look pretty good, though, or...? They look like, do you have E? Yeah. Usually when they're just regular gas or black, when they're E, they're yellow. Mm. How long, how much more time do you think these would last? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they would still work. Just My MPG may just slow slow down down or slightly or shift. Mm. They don't look terrible. Uh, just the yellowing is just from the from the ethanol. Mm -hmm. Do you running that corn? You probably do smell like corn. They probably do. You guys want some melote? I got you. Are you actually on it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm on just tune and flex you. No down, no down power, nothing. Max 10 minute job? It should even take 10 minutes, honestly. It should take like, it should take you longer to find the hardware. Or it the, should take you longer to find the 10 socket than you should to do everything else. Yeah. You're not paying for the time, you're paying for the experience. I like paying you to put that oil in. Look, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> like you about to be a uh, saw bay right here? Start dumping oil like that? Okay. Oh, like that, huh? <laughs> when you need to have it in the back, just in case. <laughs> no, you know how, like, even when you do it, oil change for the SK, yeah. you still have to put No, it usually with the SK, I, I love having an extra spare because I'm probably going to need it in a month, but for the Type R, I really, it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bad habit, but I don't check my oil until the next time I change the oil. Yeah, because it, I mean, it doesn't burn oil. Yeah, exactly. Versus the S1000, if you guys ever get an S1000, even a B-Series, that, yeah, that, that shit burns oil for days. You guys, so. Hey, is it true that you guys that the Type R people get like water in this shit? Yeah. Yeah, that's where. That's why all this like white stuff is around. Like, what is this? All this? That's what the covers for, huh? Probably. Well, yeah, I do get leakage from the hood scoop. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more Type R content out here with VCD. It's been fun. New rotors, pads, new oil. New spark plugs, like I mentioned, because I am running E85, I've been seeing a lot that 30K is a good mileage and looking at them, they do look to be not in terrible shape, but it's one of those things that takes less than five minutes to fix. So last thing to do is just check the brake fluid, make sure there's no air in the system. I'm also a dentist, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a big fan of the dentist? I hate the dentist. Especially that noise, like. <laughs> Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, kicking it with us. It's been a great year, boys. It's been a great year. Uh, so many experiences. This Sunday, two days from now, it's going to be Christmas. This video is going to be out after Christmas, so kind of pointless for me to say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Hopefully you guys had a great Christmas. Hopefully you guys had a good time with family, friends. Like always guys, be like Kaizen, just keep pushing it. Make sure to subscribe for more Type R content, RSX content, content out here in SoCal, just a scene and everything. 
It's been a great year. You know, shout out to Lewis, always helping me out, letting me use his tools, letting me use all his stuff. I'd rather have content for you guys he's recording while he focuses on doing his work. So thank you, Lewis, for helping me out whenever I don't want to. 2023 is gonna be a better year. 2024 is gonna be a better year. Stay tuned next year. We got, I got some big news for you guys. Some of you guys already know, but until it happens, completely, completely done. People are still in process, so I'll let you guys know next month once it happens. And hope you guys enjoy this content. Once you reach 30K miles, if you're on E85, I highly recommend doing spark plugs. Like you guys saw mine, they were pretty yellowed out due to the fuel. Um, transmission oil, if you haven't done that. Brake fluid, for sure. Brake pads and rotors if you need to. Those are kind of standard. It's kind of varies per car, per person. But yeah, guys, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something new. Hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me. I know my chihuahua's walking around. What's up? What's up? But all right, guys, I just got home. Let's have a great weekend. Merry Christmas to you guys. Have a great, happy New Year's. Peace, boys.